Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title of the video, we are going over how to clean and lubricate your Sig Sauer P320. We have the M18 here, but what I say here in the video will be applicable to any of the 320 series pistols. So without any more yapping from me, let's get into the process. Moving on to the actual cleaning, we'll take it out of our Blackhawk. This is a retention holster. I do like it. There'll be a link down below in the video description if anybody's looking for it. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do whenever we're cleaning our gun is going to be clear it. So we're gonna drop our magazine by pressing the button here. That will release the magazine. At this point, I'm going to push up here on the slide lock button here at the rear and pull back on the slide, inspect the chamber, make sure nothing is in there, there's no magazine. At this point, we are clear. Now for disassembly, we are gonna rotate this lever forward like so, and just release the slide by either pushing down here on the slide lock or pulling back on the slide and letting it go. And as you can see, the upper, or the slide rather, comes off of our frame. Uh, we're gonna pull up here on our recoil spring and guide rod assembly, and then pull out our barrel assembly. At this point, we are field stripped. This is as far as you're gonna take it for normal maintenance. Of course, many of you know the 320 series is a modular series, so you can remove this chassis if you want to, but for basic maintenance, you absolutely do not need to. There's absolutely no reason to do so. So with that disassembled, let's go over what we're using for today's video. So we have this very high-tech old used toothbrush that you guys can see here. We have some cut up pieces of t-shirt. However, they do offer nine millimeter or 30 caliber patches that you can purchase online if you want to. Obviously that's up to you guys. Um, but if you're gonna cut them up, my recommendation is if you're gonna use them for the barrel especially, just kind of cut them on the smaller side because it sucks when you get one jammed in there. And then we have this tipped in polymer pick here. They come in a set. I like the polymer because it doesn't scratch up your finish, uh, whether it be cerakoted or nitrided regardless. You don't want, uh, my opinion anyway, uh, metal tools working on there scraping because you're just gonna damage your finish and you don't need to. Uh, then we have this here, which is going to be our barrel rod. Um, one of them probably came with your pistol when you ordered it. Then we have these two things here, which are both uh, filled with break-free CLP. This one I know says something else, but it's just refilled. Um, but break-free CLP, uh, it works really well. It's been working well for years. There's a lot of really good cleaning and lubricant products out there. But this one, again, proven for decades. Uh, and then I have a rag here that we'll use at the end. So the first step in the process is going to be to take some CLP and orient the slide downward and spray a little at the back and a little there up front. And uh, basically we're gonna do that on all of the different parts here, like our barrel, as you guys can see, and then down here in our frame, basically anywhere that has working mechanisms on it. And uh, we're gonna do so here on our guide rod and spring assembly as well. And just take our toothbrush at this point and work it all around. Uh, with this particular model here being uh, FDE, it's a little bit easier to actually see some of the carbon that's in there. This one's not too dirty. It's been cleaned relatively recently. Um, so we're just gonna work all that CLP around. And one thing about CLP for folks that are new is that it is a cleaning lubricant and protectant or protective, depending on where you read it. But one thing it does is all that carbon that's in there, it's breaking it down and loosening it all the time. It never stops. So if you clean your gun with CLP and you put it back together and you take it apart, it'll actually look dirty a lot of times because the CLP is picked up some of the carbon that you actually missed. Uh, the first time. So just know that it's always breaking down carbon. It never stops. Um, so we're going to focus here on our lugs on our barrel there. That's places that carbon likes to get locked up. Same here on our hood right in there. And just loosen everything up here on our guide rod. And for our frame, same thing. All the metal parts there that have that carbon that you can see get a little bit in our mag well. And really anywhere that the slide is riding, I like to focus on because obviously that's the friction point for the operation of the pistol. Um, and then next up, we're gonna take a patch here, that's one that I cut up, and we're gonna push that one through the barrel, put some CLP on it, and get all of the carbon that's in there out. At least some of it anyway, not all of it. But again, push it through just once. You guys can see there's plenty of fouling on there, um, but we're gonna let it sit and come back to it here in just a second. Now that our CLP has been sitting for a little bit, we are just gonna kind of get everything we can with our finger, but that shortly will run out and we're gonna have to break out the uh, tipped in polymer pick. 
What's nice about these is that little tips there allows you to get into crevices and things like that. Right now, I'm just gonna focus on the slide rail, again, where it's riding on the metal portion of our uh, grip module down there. And one place to pay special attention to is our extractor, which is right here. You guys probably can see it. And the uh, reason for that is that extractor, you want it to be clean so that way it can pull cartridges out of the chamber and extract them correctly. And it is a place that carbon likes to build up on. So um, basically, again, with the FDE version, you can see where all the carbon is, but it's just like to wipe up all the CLP. You'll never get all of it, like I said earlier. It's always going to be there. It's always going to keep working, which is nice, but we'll set that aside. And, you know, the question of how clean is clean, I'll leave that up to you guys. For me, you know, what you guys see here is perfectly acceptable for what I do with my guns and uh, they seem to run just fine. You guys can see the wear marks there, but one benefit of a 320 is that those nitrided barrels really doesn't matter because uh, it's gonna keep uh, the properties rather of the nitride treatment are there regardless of whether the black finish is there or not. So it keeps that uh, corrosion resistance, rust resistance, hardness, all of those sorts of things. And you can just keep pushing patches through, new ones or recycled ones like we used here uh, as many times as you want. And again, if you want it to be completely clean when it comes out, that's up to you. I'll let you do it, no issues there. But you wanna focus, of course, on our feed ramp there um, because you want that to be smooth so that way your bullets can go in there without any sort of issue. So same thing here on our grip module. Wipe up anything we can see with our hands like to get down in that mag well. One thing you don't want CLP on, or one place rather, is going to be in your magazine well. It's just not needed, and uh, there's no benefit to having it down there, and it could just cause issues eventually. So uh, with you know your pick, get anywhere that you can, but when you start uh, getting resistance or pushing on springs and stuff like that, I recommend you just stop at that point. Again, there's just no need for normal maintenance uh, to do that. And if you really want to do that, I would pull the module out. I'm not going to do that in this video. There's a million videos on it on YouTube. I think I actually have one on how to do that. Um, so there is that. Gun is essentially cleaned. Now we're going to lubricate it. On our slide, you can see there's some wear marks. Wherever you see wear marks, that's where you want to lubricate. But other points on the slide that you want to lubricate, of course, are going to be on the rails uh, because those are under friction when firing. You can put a drop of CLP on there. You can also put them on the actual rails uh, down on the grip as well if you want to or you can do both it ain't gonna hurt anything You can see that where we have developing there on the barrel hood uh, Rather from the barrel hood impacting this slide uh, We're gonna take our barrel and basically put a little bit of CLP on there and just work it all the way around So that way it's all the way around and you can see again wear spots That is an indicator that you want to put some lubrication there a little bit here on the Barrel and then on the lugs down there we're going to drop that back into place. We're going to put a drop or two on our recoil and spring assembly. Push that down like so. Um, and now we are going to mate the slide and the grip module together, making sure that the slide rides on those metal rails there. And then pushing it back, I like to lock it to the rear and rotate that back down. Let your slide go home at this point. Take that big old rag that I showed you in the beginning and just kind of wipe everything down, get any excess oils off there, things of that sort. And uh, we're gonna cycle the slide a few times, let everything work itself around, press the pistol in a uh, safe direction, pull the trigger, and it should fire. Cycle the action with the trigger held to the rear, it should reset. It did. And then also make sure that it does not fire with the safety on if you have a safety model and that is it guys your pistol is cleaned lubricated all of that stuff ready to head back out to the range if you like what you saw here uh, and you aren't subscribed please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are subscribed and uh, you have questions comments any of that sort of stuff you can put it down in the video description or on any of my social media that you see here on the bottom of your screen uh, we also have two email lists so uh, should any of the cleaning supplies or whatever go on a crazy sale we'll send that, that out in our daily deals email which you can sign up for at the email at the link rather on your screen and then we also have the videos email which basically uh, even if you're subscribed here nowadays, YouTube isn't always showing you my videos. So this way, if you sign up there, 
I send out the videos, all of the videos since the last email, so usually once a month. Um, and that way there's no social media giant censoring your eyes from my content. But that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.